Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. So it's interesting, you know, early on I used to always try to prioritize having a lot of those 4 and 5 cost sort of powerhouse minions, especially in the 4 cost area. Powerhouse things for, I guess, more 3 to 4 mana that can easily go 2 to 1 against the 2 or 1 cost cards, but which are big enough that they still have some impact on a lot of the more expensive cards. This deck's like the opposite of that. This deck has a ton of the sort of two cost rush stuff. And then it has a good chunk of like five and six cost fairly expensive stuff. So we'll see how well that mix works out overall. I will fight with honor. The light shall bring victory. It could be a good starting hand. I mean light bomb. Amazing card. Not useful for a while. Excellent. That's what I wanted. I wanted something else so that I wasn't choosing between the huge toad and the lance carrier. This is a bit better choice. Assess the threats that are on the board and play appropriately. The huge toad is really interesting because he has a good chance of winning a 1v1 against a 4 hit point minion. And by winning I mean suicide bombing it. Okay, what are you going to coin out? Hey. Yeah. That was very resistant. Okay, that is poor. That That is not one of the things I wanted to see. I guess we'll try and get a card out of it, but that counters my stuff pretty damn effectively. Boo. Do not log. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I expect, expect I'm going to have to get down. I could do about it. This is uh, really not good, though. His one damage isn't going to help at all right now, so I'm actually going to go Fairy Dragon, even though it's going to unceremoniously get murdered. I am not liking this at all. The uh, shield bot is crushing my stuff. Interesting spreading out the, the hit points. Because it makes more sense if you're about to actually like break the thing. Um, so I can charge and kill her and then go down to a 2 2. It makes more sense than playing these two guys though. For the king! For honor! Unfortunately, the Corsair can now kill him and survive. I'm really not making any progress here. Negative progress. Making regress. Really? I get punished for not killing you. Oh, you would have had that anyway. Okay. Still. Don't you wish for a holy nova? No, there's, there's a holy no. Less va. Um. Draw something. Do I play the trog or do I play the lance carrier? I think the Trog will be fine. I don't need to boost that guy any bigger. He's, he's big enough to kill anything on the board. I'm concerned that my opponent hasn't had to use any serious tricks to kill my stuff yet. That the shield bot was pretty much doing it all. So I'm actually in trouble here. Although I can light bomb soon. We'll see if that's actually going to help any. If light bomb totally clears the board, is fine. If I light bomb... Yeah, like, if I have nothing... Oh, give me a... Kiss my ass. That sucks. That sucks so incredibly hard. If the one damage had at least hit this, it would have been okay, because then the light bomb would clear the board. But now I'm in a situation where I'm going to light bomb, and there are still going to be enemies out there, which is terrible. You want to light bomb and either have something on your side survive, or at least completely clear the board, but here I'm just getting pounded. 
Or we can start making minions now. We've got mana left over. Oh, that is crap. Oh my god. So bad. We do that. I, think I gotta heal myself. Get this guy up to 6'6, six, six, which is an okay side. Size. I can play some big things here, but I am... He dominated the early game. Like, his stuff was one-to-one, -one, just beating the shit out of mine. Mostly because of shield bot. I had good things, but his his were just one-upping everything I played. And I'm so far behind that my late game might not kick in. Plus, he may also have a good late game. We were going about even on cards. His were just always winning. Which is why my health is low. And he still has stuff. Not on my way. Okay, that's crap, but at least it's looking like he's going to have to spend some resources to kill this guy. No, he's not. Well, he consecrated a real resource, but I mean, he's getting to keep his army, so this sucks. Sucks really hard. I am in severe trouble now. Shadowward Pain. Hey, you know what would have been useful earlier in the game? Shadowward Pain. Uh, can I save my commander? Instead of paying her, he could come out and kill something, and then he's just doomed to get killed by a piece of crap. He comes out and is big, but doesn't actually kill anything. I don't think it works, and I don't have enough mana to do that and this. Playing the shield, playing the lance carrier makes no sense if I don't have another minion out. So yeah, I guess we're just going to... I'm at 13, he has one card, and he has seven damage on the table. Can I afford to play this guy now? And then do other stuff after? He could spend a lot of resources killing him. I am going to try it. It's probably dumb, but I would like this guy to do a little bit better than he's going to do. I'm just, I've, I'm concerned about treading water. I need to get this guy out now so he can attack later. Because if I played him now, kill something, then he dies, then I'd really have nothing. On the other hand, I'm really going to have no hit points now, so. It's a gamble either way. Although if I draw the Holy Nova now, that could potentially go a long way. Because I could hit something with him, then Holy Nova would get him back to full. What kind of a buff have you got? I wonder. The Blessing of Kings would be pretty much game over. I think the Might is really, really bad. Especially if you go for my face. If you kill my guy, it may not be as bad. Okay. Holy Nova could really make a huge difference here. Not Holy Nova. Okay. That's unfortunate. And I'm not going to get anywhere, but i got to start killing off these guys. Or I could play him, heal myself up to 11... And blow up the 2 2. Be in pretty much the same place. So, sort of hoping for a Holy Nova. I'm going to do that though, because. Right. It's very precarious. But I'm just hoping to get into some kind of a position where I have a chance to win. Whereas I feel like him's coming out right now. He's not killing something good enough to make it. Oh my god. So this is coming down to, if I get the Holy Nova, I can probably win this game. If I don't get the Holy Nova, I probably can't win this game. I know Adron helps a lot, though. And I don't need to buff his attack, because he can kill everything just as well. Do I heal myself, or this guy? If my opponent draws a Blessing of Kings, he can kill me. If he doesn't, I'm going to want this guy to not be dead, I think. He's really a crapshoot. If he gets any direct damage, like, this, he probably, if he gets anything that does more damage, he should be able to kill me. I don't know if the two hit points would have been enough to make a difference None in that. That's more damage, that's not good. This way I still have a guy alive, but that, yeah, it worked out badly still. Holy Nova, Holy Nova, Holy Nova. 
That is the opposite of helpful. Yep, that's uh, pretty goddamn useless. Thanks a lot. It's game. Uh, I'm dead now. Again, I don't have a comeback me mechanism. I was supposed to heal before I played her. I forgot that I was doing that. It it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I was I was dead anyway. I had two turns there where a Holy Nova would have made a huge difference, and I didn't get it, which. I can't complain about not getting it, because statistically, wasn't that likely to get it, but that is about all I could do. I think that whatever other decisions I made in those last four or five turns, I don't think any of them could have significantly hurt me be other than if I got the Holy Nova I needed to succeed. Boo. Yeah. Just got, I just got dominated so much in the early game that I could not claw my way back, even against all those weak-ass minions. Okay. We're one and one. We want to get ourselves into a better position. This is a slow starting hand. I mean, I've got the killing stuff, but I need actual minions. Should I toss one of these? I'm thinking I should toss one of these to try and get more actual minions I can cast. Okay. Look, knowing I have a lot of two-cost minions, like maybe I should have kept the the smite, but Shadow or Pain will get rid of something bigger than Smite will. I'm just worried about that part. But okay, this is this is good now though. Play him, and then I have Anoyatron to cover him, which is pretty awesome. Anoyatron is a pretty optimal. Two mana defensive minion. X marks the spot. Okay. So that's interesting. Instead of Anoyatron, I could buff him, kill her, get him enraged, and then I can actually power word shield him. Get in there and fight, maggot! Who you want me kill? Uh -huh. I mean, I could have shielded him, but let's protect the guy that has five attack. Now, it's probably just going to get Wrath, but... Something. Ooh, that doesn't kill him. Ah, uh, you won the joust. Now I have to shadow where pain is. Do I want to Shadow Word Pain that? Or just use Anoyatron to protect it? Because Anoyatron is a good use of my opponent's Kung Fu, but if he's using his Kung Fu, he's not really getting that far, is he? I could also kill it with this and then heal it, but then I've got nothing out. Yeah, I don't know. If he if he hits a Noitron with that though, next turn the Stormwind Knight can finish it. So he could just play two play two mana, Kung Fu Noitron, kill a Noitron with the Lancer. That is a totally viable option. But it would be half of his mana for the turn. Which means he's not putting out anything big to challenge my what is turning out to be a little bit of a psychotic rush so far. Interesting. Just gonna do something more interesting and effective than what I'm saying. Okay, that's a, that's a little threatening, but that's not doing the job necessarily. I still have the taunt, which is pretty good. I can't do anything to kill that guy. But this is going to help improve my board position. For honor. Well, him, he's still out there, and I can still hit my opponent for all this damage. Kung Fu alone won't kill this guy. He's got to use an actual something to kill that so that his panther can kill my, like, giant raging troll, or vice versa. Okay, that is a big guy. I am still beating your face in, for the record. Um, these guys are pretty rough, though. If I heal him up, then 
he would go up to five health. He wouldn't be able to do his thing. I think trade this guy for that. Keep hitting my opponent for five, and just play more guys. I think that's the plan. For honor. It is notable that Draconid Crusher is going to be a 9-9 unless my opponent heals. Healbot would put him at 21. He kills my big guy, and then I hit him for 5. He would still be at 16, so yeah. Heal Healbot or a Druid Touch, whatever thing, would get him out of Draconid Crusher range. Healbot would be a turn 2. Magbrick has pretty big and scary. Well, I'll admit that. You lucky guy. I could entomb that. And just keep pounding him with these. I think I'm going to save that for an emergency, though, in case he plays a big taunt. Because this is already giving me a pretty big advantage. You're eight. Mech Bearcat doesn't trade one for one against my guy. You really need to stop me from killing you. Okay. You get a free mech. Congratulations, you still have to cast it, and you still have to not die. You need a way to do... At the very least, you need to be able to hit my guy with Mech Bear Cat, do two more damage to him, or get a spare part from Mech Bear Cat that you can use to save your life temporarily, like a freeze or a taunt. Your, your options are very limited. Although if you got an Anoyatron, you'd be in much better shape. Anoyatron, Mech Bear Cat, <laughs> Cat kills one of my smaller guys, gets a spare part. So, if Gorilla had given him an Annoyatron, then he could have still been in that game. Otherwise, that was pretty rough. That was a short-ass game, but it worked for me, because old-school classic troll power. If you don't have way to counter troll, you get trolled. Anyway, that's good. Reach, I reached the fork. Still, there's definitely, like, that Paladin exposed some weaknesses there. Apparently one shield bot is enough to basically sink my entire early game. So we'll see if that happens again next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash Demonac.